Stay tuned to hear what's going on in the Brantford housing market and my predictions for the next few months. At the time I made this video, there were 31 properties for sale in Brantford. I was going to say that this is an improvement for Brantford until I saw that 10 properties were actually lots. Not that anything's wrong with lots, it's just that many clients are looking for something that's already built. So in reality, generally speaking, there are 21 homes for sale in Brantford, 16 single family homes and five condos. The average home price in Brantford is $470,000. Looking at single family homes and condos separately, single family homes are priced at $660,000 and condos are priced at $290,000. Single family homes in Brantford saw their peak back in August at $674,000, experienced a major dip in November of $451,000. Brantford continues to be a seller's market, but in the past few months, we've slowly seen the inventory increase. Brantford saw an inventory of 1.7 for most of last year. However, we've seen that needle kind of move slowly in the past few months. This is still a far cry from a balanced market, but we're happy to see that there is a bit more inventory for buyers now. Properties in Brantford are still selling above the asking price, and we're noticing that buyers are making higher offers compared to this time last year. The trend applies to both single family homes and condos. Properties in Brantford stay on the market on average 28 days. The median provides a better depiction of what's going on in Brantford's market, especially considering that there are a few properties, such as multi-million dollar homes, that have skewed the numbers a bit. The median time properties stay on the market is seven days. Yes, seven days. This seven day trend has remained consistent since September of last year. According to Steve Kasperzik of Cross Country Mortgage, rates are currently averaging around seven, 7.25%, with a recent uptick observed in the last week. As many of you know, Brantford is a highly desirable town. Its quaint small town feel combined with all the conveniences of a bustling city makes it appealing to everyone, resulting in more buyers who want to live in Brantford. With the weather warming up, the buyer pool may be bigger than ever before, which is a benefit for homeowners considering selling their homes in the upcoming months. Prices in Brantford are currently at an all-time high despite the usual lull that winter brings. And with all that being said, I don't think prices will drop. Though there is new construction in Brantford, there are all million dollar homes. Brantford is in desperate need of new affordable homes. I've been considering making a video about cities with the most affordable homes in Connecticut. So what do you think? Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on Brantford's housing market. Until next time.